guys, welcome back. I am not that excited. I am lacking motivation today, but I guess I have myself fooled. Okay, so I was watching a YouTube video here a little while ago, and they were making cream cheese pumpkin muffins, or pumpkin muffin cream. Hold on. Let me look up the name of it. They just call them pumpkin cupcakes. So I don't feel like that's the right one. It is. Okay. So pumpkin cupcakes it is. We'll go with it because it's their recipe, not mine. But basically, you have a pumpkin cupcake with cream cheese and chocolate chips in the middle. No, I am not one of those people who get on the pumpkin craze. But I'm feeling completely unmotivated today. And it's fall. It's cold in my house. It's cold outside. So... I think fall is in the air finally and I don't want to complain because it was so hot this summer but I really do better in warm weather but we're gonna embrace the season and make pumpkin cupcakes okay so I kept my head off <laughs> so and the gal who posted these made the comment she is Amish, or no, no, not Amish, she's Mennonite. And she said she's never been into a cupcake place where she's had better cupcakes than Mennonite cupcakes. So, of course, I want to try them and see how good they are, right? Okay, so the first thing we want to do is preheat our oven to 350 degrees. My stove has, <laughs> my stove has two ovens. My top oven is regular. My bottom oven will do a regular or it will do convection. I usually set my bottom oven to convection, so it's going to set the temperature to 325 instead of 350. Otherwise, they cook just the same. Actually, my bottom oven cooks better on convection. So, let's preheat our oven now. Very seldom do I ever do Mise en place, you know, where you put all of your ingredients together so all you have to do is dump. Why? Probably for two reasons. One, I am probably lazy because <laughs> it takes a little bit of work, although you're doing the same amount of work. But the second reason is because you dirty up extra dishes. So I would just use my scoop and measure out my flour. Just use my scoop and measure out my sugar as opposed to putting my flour in a bowl my sugar in a bowl my eggs <laughs> so but today i thought i'd be good and i would do mise en place so what you need is you need a 15 ounce can or two cups two cups woo, of pumpkin you want the 100 percent pure pumpkin not the pumpkin pie filling you want two cups of sugar four eggs, three quarters of a cup of oil, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of cinnamon, two teaspoons of baking soda, and two cups of flour. And all we have to do is put them in our bowl and mix them together. Now, I could have gotten my big mixer out, but it's been in the uh, dishwasher so many times here lately that I thought that I would use the little hand mixer. I may regret this and when I do y'all can say you should have gotten the big mixer out but it doesn't have butter so usually that batter is a little thinner. We're gonna go with it and hope for the best. <laughs> to that we're going to add two cups of sugar and four eggs. and our cinnamon, soda, salt, and powder. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of mix it just so it starts coming together. Go ahead and dump in the oil. For a light and fluffy cupcake, you don't want to overwork your flour so that's why I'm kind of going ahead and getting this started mixing together now. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm only going to do that. And I'm going to go in with my spatula and just make sure that I got all that flour incorporated. A few years ago, I was really bad at making cupcakes. I'm still not great, but I, I set out to learn how to make cupcakes. That year, Food Network did a whole series on cupcakes for the year. So there was a new cupcake to make every month. And I had some real flops and I had some real successes, but I at least learned better. This is also why my husband bought me 500 cupcake liners, because I was going through cupcake liners like crazy. And... I believe it said this makes 24. So I was looking for some cute little Halloween. But I don't have 24 of them. So we're going to just finish out with those. I had some real good ones. I had some real flops. And I learned a lot. And then that's what matters. I have learned because I am not so good at portioning these that the best way for me to portion is with my ice cream scoop. And I think I'm still filling them a little full. Oh, 24. Get ready, the world might implode because I did mise en place again for you guys. <laughs> so we have <laughs> eight ounces of green cheese, softened to room temperature. Okay, to that we are going to add one third of a cup of sugar and one egg. We are going to beat that together. And again, I chose to use a little hand mixer instead of, although I'm putting the wrong beater in the wrong one. to add one cup of chocolate chips. I like mini chocolate chips better. So I used my Baking Liberty and went with the mini chocolate chips. So we have one cup of mini chocolate chips. Stir them in. And then we are going to drop a heaping tablespoon of this mixture into each of our 24 cupcakes. I guess that's heaping enough. Okay, now we're ready for the oven. <laughs> Okay, so my bottom oven that is convection runs a little bit hotter than what my top oven does. The recommended bake time is 15 to 20 minutes. So in my bottom oven, I'm going to go 15 minutes. In my top oven, I'm going to go 20 minutes. For some reason, that's just, it works pretty well. My oven has been acting up all weekend for some reason. Maybe it's just in denial that it's winter. <laughs> but I actually wound up having to add an extra 10 minutes to my bottom oven, which is very unusual. Or it might have even been 15 minutes now that I think about it. I think it was 15 minutes. My top oven has 30 seconds left, so we'll see what the cupcakes look like when they come out. So these were out of my bottom oven. These were out of my top oven. I probably left them in just a fraction of a hair too long, but they weren't acting like they were baking, so that's why I kept putting them back in. The ones out of the top oven actually rose a little more, 
look a little more like cupcakes. The ones in the bottom oven are a little more flat. Otherwise, they look yummy. Those are the ones that came out last. Oh, come out. Oh, come out. <laughs> They're not wanting to come out. How can I taste one? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, ah. But we got it out with the help of my trusty cake. So this thing is awesome. You test your cakes on one end like a toothpick. So, <laughs> and then the other end is actually used for like prying your cake off your side. So it worked really well. So here is the cupcake. There we go. Okay, so there's your cupcake. <laughs> Doesn't it look yummy? And those cute little papers. It is still hot. I can vouch for that. But I'm going in. Look at that steam. You probably can't see that steam. I'm going in. Taking one for the team. Mmm. Mmm. I won't show that steam really. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Very good. I'll leave the link in the description. You should definitely, definitely go make these. 